After a report is created, its design can be modified by using tools and techniques similar to those used to, to modify the design of a form. The format of controls can be changed. Controls can be added, removed, or moved in a report. Most of these report modifications can be made in layout view. In our stall fees by industry report, under the industry heading, this heading here, several of the industry names are truncated, that is not fully displayed. Like we can't see all of adventure here, I'm missing something after banking. Likewise, some of the amounts under the fee paid are not fully displayed and display pound signs or the number signs. We can modify the controls on this report to accommodate the data that displays. We will now adjust the size and the position of the controls so that the data is visible and attractively presented. In the upper left corner of the report, we'll click to select the industry label control. So there it is. And it's surrounded uh, with an orange border to select the column. That's, that's why we've got the whole column selected. We'll move over to the right side of the control and drag it to the right until the right edge is aligned slightly under the eye of industry up above in the title and the report header and let go. So now we can see all of the industries. Now next we'll click on the fee paid Let's scroll over there a little bit, see more of the fee paid control. Click on it, and we'll drag its right edge until it's uh, slightly inside the dotted margin. Slightly, there's just, you can see that dotted margin and gray margin over there, so move that over there. And then we'll drag the left edge of that control to shorten it and leave a small amount of space to the left of the dollar sign like that. The pound signs are removed and the field amounts display fully. Within each industry grouping, notice the summary for industry information. Uh, we need to scroll back to the beginning. Summary for industry information is right here. Access includes a summary line that details what is being summarized or sum and how many records are included in the total. So you see one record here, one record there, two records here, Burbank Bank and Mission Bay Bank. We can click on any of the summary industry controls. And the control that we clicked is surrounded by an orange border, and all the others are surrounded by paler borders to indicate that they're all selected. At this point, we'll right-click on any of these and select Delete. And they all disappear. Alternatively, we could have selected them with a left mouse click and press the delete key. Now in the fee paid field, we'll go back over to it, over in the edge here. We'll click on any of the fee amounts to select these controls. So they're selected. And then we'll right click on any of those controls and click on properties. And we def our property sheet list is displayed. And on the Format tab, we'll click on the name of the second property, which is Decimal Places. And then we can click on the arrow next to it and choose 0. Now we could also type the value 0 in that cell also, in that uh, text box also. So the fees are going to be displayed. We'll close the property box and the fees will be displayed without decimals. In the banking grouping of the report, the right of, we'll click to the right of the word sum. Here's banking grouping right here and here's the sum that has to do with it. And we'll scroll over to the, uh, so we can see the number, the 1200, and we'll click on it. And then we'll right-click, and we can right-click on any of these here. 
again open our properties click on properties and the reason for doing that is the amounts would be more relevant if they included the currency formatting to indicate that they are the sum of the fees paid within each industry grouping the summary controls are examples of calculator controls that is controls with an expression often a formula this uses one or more fields from the underlying table or query so on our property sheet on the format tab We'll click on the name of the first uh, property called Format, right up here. And then we'll click on the arrow to the right of it. And we can go down and select Currency. We'll click in the decimal places. And like we did before, we'll have zero decimal places. Now we'll close the property sheet. And we can look at our sums that are in Currency Format with no decimals. With the uh, sizing pointer now, we'll drag the right side of any of the selected sum controls to the right, and we'll place it just like we did the fees paid, or fee paid, just slightly to the inside of the border here. Not so much the border, but the margin. And then we'll uh, adjust and shorten the left side here, too, like we did the fees paid. And we're all set with that. Now on the left side of the report, let's scroll over there. We'll click on one of the sum labels. And then we'll click it again to place an insertion point inside. You can see how the insertion point is like that. And then we'll delete the text. And I'm just going to highlight it here because we're going to replace it with total fees by industry. We'll press enter to complete that. And notice we changed one control, but it in effect changed them all. Now, the, to review those steps again, we'll click out. We clicked on the control, and we clicked again to edit. I just want to show you another alternative way. We could double click on the control, and we're in edit mode immediately. So that's an alternative way. You can take advantage of that. So the new text more clearly states what's being summed. However, the label would be more useful if it was positioned near the summary value. So using the sizing pointer to lengthen the right size of the control, we'll do that so it's slightly to the left of the amount. So let's click on, well, we've got to click out, click on it again, and then drag it over till it's just slightly to the left of the summary. And then go back and grab the left and bring it over uh, to like that. So that's right nearby. Now there's an alternative way. Let me undo the sizing for a couple of times here. We could, after these are selected, just select the size of the arc. This is perfect size right now. And then take it and drag it over. But we want to make sure it's lined up and let go, and we've accomplished the same thing. At the